Hey everybody, what's going on? It's me, Predictable Nova, and here today we are playing another game of The Walking Dead, episode 4. And this guy is called Lee. Yeah, yeah, we all got it. So she's... She, she looks miserable. Something's wrong with her. Anyways, last episode we are supposed to find the medication, and so we are gonna find the medication. So what's this? Easter egg. Hunt. The IT, IT guy. Okay. That's Doug. I don't want to talk to Doug. What about her? You're a pretty good shot. Well, pretty you don't shot. fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Oh. What are you working on? What are you messing on? around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, can't get it to work, though. Let me have a look. Uh, flip radio. The batteries? I mean, how? <laughs> there are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I Don't. can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. It, oh my god, you're so retarded. Holy shit, you're a reporter and you didn't know that you need double batteries? Oh my god. Oh, look at that. Something's weird. Something's weird indeed. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead cards. Greeting cards. What's this? Oh, take battery. You can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Take the batteries, bitch. Alright, so let's go this, um, give these batteries to her, and then we'll find a medicine. So... Insert the this battery. battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. How is that? It's not double. Oh, I'm still looking fudge. for batteries for that day. Thanks, I appreciate it. Okay, so those don't fit. All right. Well, we're gonna find. We just something. need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do Fort our damnedest. Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale. What's this? Energy bar. Oh, I'll take some energy bar. And there goes my birds. I don't know why they're doing that. Alright, so let's open up the door here. Alive inside. Something's up. Oh. oh what the heck has gone on here? Oh, shit. I can't think about them in here. I bet you this is his family's drugstore. Alright, well, let's see what we can find. Everyone's Everyone out there seem alright to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on him. And there was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? <laughs> I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Have you heard from Glenn? Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Alright. I'm gonna keep looking around. Let's okay. see what we could find here, because that bastard needs medicine. Um, let's see. Oof. Oh, what's this? What's that? Ooh. This is my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. See, this was he sick? Door. Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. <laughs> like her My hat. dad gave it to me. See, dad's just smart like that. Derp. Why don't you have babies? Okay, so I guess we have to move the desk. Better get this door clear, huh? 
Can I help? I need to get in the medication thing. Sure. Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> Things have been scary. Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I, Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. Bet your dad okay, does. Here we go. Push! Look at her face. Push. Look at her eyes are cross sided. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Um. Let's not talk about that. Yeah. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. How did. I'm not crazy about it either. How do you not like soccer? Come All on. right, a little further. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they like hate you? Oh. I hope not. I hope not. It's just complicated. That's all. Why? I don't want it to be it suspicious about something. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble, and, and I didn't talk to them for a while. This Wait, is it? used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. Yeah. He's so adorable. Ow! Oh, no! <gasps> Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. Oh, he cares for her like as if he's a father. I'll find you a bandage. Alright, so let's see. Bandage there. Derp, derp, derp. Band-aid. I'm gonna go wound her finger. Derp. Let's have a look at that finger. Oh, you cut your finger. Oh. It hurt. It let's hurt. see if we can do something about it. There's so much talking in this game. Can we just get to the Let's point? Let's get this please? cut covered up. Yes, please. Yes, please. Oh, she's so happy. Okay, I'm gonna try to do is make her... Lee? But... Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Uh, they'll they find us. Track us down. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay. Well, we should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Stay close to me. I'll be strong. I'll help you carry on. It's no! Not. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Uh, check this drawer. Let's see if it fits in here. Is it? There's a remote. There's a TV up there. Maybe that would give us something. Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. Yeah, you just seen it. It's oh, the I was where we can get the double batteries. Double A batteries, alright. That works. My pants came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Or protected her. There's a photo over there. No, duh. Oh. Aw, oh, look at him. He's there. Why would you do that? Find anything? It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. 
I know who you are. <gasps> You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. Don't give me that bitch face. You seem How like an okay you? guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it myself. You think he wants to cause any trouble to the group? Thanks. Carly, don't worry remember about it. you trusted her. All right, well, she's starting to have a like for me. Glad that this girl understands everything. She's young. She's younger and these guys can't understand shit. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Want to head back into the Lee? drugstore with me? Yeah. You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Yeah, he was. <laughs> yeah, he was. And you had to protect yourself. That's right. Oh, okay. Alright, let's see. I think the remote is supposed to be given to her so we can listen to the radio. Um. I'm still looking for batteries for that day. Thanks. I appreciate it. Alright, well, she's retarded, so I'm not gonna deal with her energy bar. Alright, let's see what else is around. Food box? What's this? Hey there, uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kinda in a jam here. Uh -oh. uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee, what's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Are you stuck? Yeah, what are you I stuck? Uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. Yep. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back dead here eye. as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. I want to know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Take some more candy bars. Uh, I'll give her a candy bar. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, Ew, uh, face. really sweet. Don't mention it. Alright, so we gave her a candy bar. That's success. Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those things out there? Hey, Lee. You really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Oh, Thank you. they appreciate me. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? Aww. Well, her family's dead, so... That's awful, Lee. Yeah, well, mm. she seems to be handling herself all right. She's just a little girl, Ken. Lee says she spent days on her own. That takes toughness. But you have no idea what sort of emotional damage is happening to her every second her family is gone. Yeah, it's true. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. 
You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? I don't know. Well, don't wouldn't know. they be at their house or somewhere like that? Cat, it's not our business. Uh, I'm not sure they made it. We passed some houses on the way in and things are pretty bad here. Well, you just don't know. Are you guys all right? Because We're I... just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Yeah, man, I got a second. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. I panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. It happened. I guess, but I can't stop seeing him in my head. Yeah. Oh, don't rough. get all this mushy, mushy. I killed that boy. Conversation. We could have saved him together. You didn't have a choice. You think you do when you look back on it, but in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Ooh, such wise words. Trying to let it go. Try to let it go. Derp. And so there's a lot of chit chatting in this game. So, and I don't want to keep interrupting while they're talking because I know you guys want to hear it. You guys are enjoying it so far. You guys are really liking this. So. How are we doing? If you don't mind, I think my family and I are going to rest for a bit. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. You got it. Don't worry, man. I just want to give him the candy bar. It's not much, but here. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates yeah. it. That's sweet, Lee. Alright. What's on the ice cream menu? It's all melted now. It's all melted now. This newspaper clippings. So we're kind of like adventuring through this place and yelpers. Alright, so... Photographs? No. What does he see? Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. I don't know. I don't know. Should I should I do it now? I think I think we should wait till the next episode. Huh? Huh? Alright guys, well I am gonna probably end it from here, maybe, unless we should, uh, we should, uh, you know. Alright, well, since there's a lot of talking, we can do it, sure. we can look around. Let's go have a look around. Cool, and we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Alright. This one's gonna surely be a long episode. Oh. Jesus. Yeah, that's right. Look at all of them. Oh my god, who would be eating? I think I'm gonna be sick. They just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How oh. the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. <laughs> it's like watching. Oh shit! The remote electronic ware warehouse. Damn! This is gonna be intense on the next episode. It's pretty crazy, but, uh, yeah, I think uh, we're gonna end it right here. So, I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, tell me what you think, and hopefully next episode everything will go good. So, uh, I'm out. Adios.